Hey everybody! Welcome back to Tropico, part- <laughs> Tropico. I was just reading a tweet, somebody tweeted me and they said, what happened to Tropico? And I had it on my mind. Um, okay, so we have 75 there. I'll talk about Tropico in a second. We're ready to go here. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good about this run. Now, things could go terribly wrong. Well, I'm out of focus here. Why don't we take a second and I just healed myself a little bit more. We're only on uh, the caves though. Caves are pretty easy as far as I'm concerned. I don't give a shit about a wooden blade and a root. Get out of here. The root, the root. The root is on fire. We don't need no roots. Seriously, why would we want roots? Anyway, um, Tropico. This is a weird tangent that I did not expect to be talking about. Basically, I was doing Tropico. I was liking Tropico, and uh, I recorded an episode of Tropico, and it went well. And then I started recording the next episode of Tropico, and two minutes in, townspeople revolted. Literally two minutes, not like, you know, five minutes, but I'm saying two minutes for dramatic effect. Literally, you know, 120 seconds into the video, uh, there was a revolt, and people burned down my palace, and uh, my, my town ended. So I was like, all right, well, I guess that's over. And I was planning on ending the Tropico series when, like, that, um, when that town ended anyway. It just happened to end it extremely, well, shouldn't have broken that. Happened to end at an extremely inconvenient time. Like, I don't want to upload a two minute long video, because then people will be like, you know, where's the rest of my video? Anyway, maybe it wasn't the proper way to handle it, but it's a lesson learned. I like Tropico 5. I, I did like Tropico 5 uh, quite a bit. And I still do. But I, uh, that's, that's where it went, in case you are curious about that. You know, I'm trying to do better about giving people closure for, for series that they uh, like that have disappeared. I mean, we know what happened with the Wizard's Lizard, um, or is happening with the Wizard's Lizard, depending on when this video goes up. And, uh, yeah, I think it's just it's just good practice, right? Like, not good. It's, it's a, a good practice, I should say. Uh, I expected to take damage there. Um, and, you know, the the real problem with these bugs is that they're like glass cannons. They're, they're not really too hardy. You know, they have very low HP. But... Well, pretty low HP, I guess, relative to how strong I am at this point. Um, but they hit like a fucking truck, truck. My thigh's like, ow, what, what? Oh, that's two of those eggs killed. If I kill another one, there. I just had like a frame rate dip, so I'm pretty sure there's a brood mother coming to kill me. Well, you know what? We'll deal with it, because that's what we've, um, we've guaranteed ourselves. We did it to ourselves, so it's not like I can really complain about anything here. Um, we'll just get ourselves like a little bit of a, a safe place. That was like a, was that a diamondite blade in there? If so, that's redonkulous. I'm gonna miss that iron eye bar, but that's okay. Um, that is a diamondite blade. So there's our diamond sword. Oh, bad damage. Worst damage. The worst damage. It shouldn't be too hard to kill this brute mother though. It's freaking quick. There we go, I, I raised my speed, and I still could barely get away. Oh, this is the perfect time to strike. Oh my god. And why am I even fighting this, right? Like, I don't really gain all that much. Decent amount of experience, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'll use another potion just to be safe, but I'm displeased with the way I handled that. I'm out of arrows? Crap. Uh, well, iron arrows it is then. We'll make our sword when we get back to town, in case you're wondering what's up with that. So, our iron arrows... What the heck? He disappeared and then he came back to life! Okay, this is this is how throws begin, so just relax. Just chill out. You're doing fine, Northern Lion, you're doing fine. Just continue to do fine. We don't need, like, vials of poison anymore. Oh, good, so now I've got an axe handle. Great. Just slow it down. You're doing great! You're doing fine, baby! There's nothing to worry about. As a result of the fact that iron arrows do more damage, we probably will have to use a few less of them now and then, which might compensate for the fact that they're, you know, relatively more expensive, I guess. You know, you get stone from every mineral that you break, you only get iron from the gray ones. Now, the gray ones are indeed the most common, but still. Oh, that one is a little stronger than I expected. We are gonna pick up uh, some diamondite of our own here. We don't have space for it, so we're gonna get rid of this mana potion, and, uh, Looks like we'll be able to get one refined diamondite, which basically does nothing for us, but, you know, it's nice that it exists, I suppose. And we're about to end this level. Please don't make me go to the dungeon. Oh my god, two forest levels. I think this is pretty easily shaping up to be, uh, by far, the easiest um, run we've ever had, and thus the best run we've ever had. 
Now, if I could stop taking damage, that would mean a lot to me. So we're gonna, we're already level 25. There's no, that's no level cap, right? Like that's not the level cap. We got one HP back there. Didn't get very many herbs here, but we're going straight back to the forest, which is awesome. And we could farm for some wood. You know what? We could actually use a little bit more wood for uh, sticks for arrows anyway, so why not go through with this? I'm not sure if we can get any more experience, because right now we have zero, so like zero out of our next level, so maybe it's just actually impossible, or maybe it goes on forever and I'm just being a little bit of a short-sighted idiot, but in any case, I'm super stoked about being able to go back to the forest. Little too little too late there, Scourge. What do you got for me? We're selling spider webs. You should be able to make spider arrows, that would be sweet. Uh, I didn't realize we picked up a gold blade in there, so that gold blade will become an axe. We're gonna turn stone into arrows. Uh, 31. What are these then? These don't combine? There we go, 37 of those. And we have enough ironite to make a decent number more. Okay, so first things first. Uh, diamond, oh, sorry, let's start with the gold axe. Like that. Uh, and then we want a diamond sword. Yeah, that's fine. So we want a plank. Like this, and this, and then this. All right. And goodbye, Goldium Great Axe. It's been good. Uh, this just has higher durability, and I don't want to waste the inventory space, so there you go. All right, so our Ironite Axe gets sold. Uh, we can't really make anything else. And for once, we don't need to do, like, a coal uh, bangerang here or anything like that. We need herbs, but we're, we're gonna get them on the next level. We're gonna get rid of all of our iron, and we're not gonna smelt anything else. Okay, this is perfect. Nothing wrong with what we've got going on here. As long as we maintain pretty good HP, I really like our chances of, uh, you know, making a lot of progress on this run. Doing a lot of good stuff, and hopefully, if nothing else, we freaking unlock the Dwelf for the first time. Next step is, uh, Diamondite Armor, for sure. Or, like, we need a Gold Shield, but we might just skip that and go straight for Diamondite, depending on how things go. And even though I've mentioned, you know, how, like, pattern-based uh, Magicite is and how, like, you could probably program a computer to play it way better than I am, the more I play it and the further I get, the more I really, really like what, what they've done with the game. Like, not since I've had it, but what they've done with the game in general. Um, I, I really like this. This might end up being one of my favorite games of the year, which I would not have expected, because the, the first time I booted it up, I was just like, I don't get it. I don't really like Terraria anymore. Why would I play something like this? And then, you know, I did a couple of runs and died in 15 minutes and was like, all right, well, I think I've kind of seen it. And then, you know, by reading uh, tips and feedback and stuff like that, I kind of figured out how the game is supposed to play to a certain extent. And uh, now I'm like, oh, shit, the rabbit hole runs deep on this one. I really hope that... Uh, more people end up picking up the game, like more YouTubers end up covering it, and uh, it ends up getting a little bit more popular because I, I really think this is one of the most interesting, you know, roguelike ish games over the years so far. And a lot of games, you know, they try to capitalize on like the survival sandbox and roguelike trend, but uh, this one actually does it meaningfully as opposed to just like, well, we did it, um, which is not always super common, so I really respect that. So, again, what's, what's our aim? Herb farming. I'd say we're doing. All right, so far. Could be better, could be worse. Now, ah, oh, there we go. We want uh, no bones. This is a no bone zone. That is that, and we'll pick up some gold. Gold still valuable. We do still need a gold shield, and shit, man, gold arrows might be something that's in the cards for us. Now, a diamond sword does exactly the same amount of damage as our um, as our gold battle axe. So we are in a situation where, um, you know, this boss, assuming their HP is the same, should take exactly, that was really dumb of me, should take exactly the same amount of time to kill that they did last time. We got two crits in a row there. I really love the skeleton mask. Oh, we leveled up, so totally you can still level up. Uh, there is no level cap at 25. Maybe I even noticed that earlier, but neglected to mention it. Or neglected to remember it, I suppose. In which case, that's a bad me. Don't do that me. Sword's going strong. Why is the sword better than the axe, by the way? Uh, even though the attack is the same, it attacks faster, and it has higher durability. Well, this has higher durability. That might be because of it's made of diamond instead of gold. But it attacks faster, so... Um, in general, I guess I prefer the sword. The battle axe has a higher attack, but a slower attack speed. And the katana has, I think, the highest attack speed, uh, but the uh, uh, lowest damage. But it, they usually carry some kind of like elemental bonus, too. All right, so you know the drill. We're going to town. Uh, the sword also has smaller reach, admittedly. And 
there we go. I figured we'd take some damage in there just because I was being a little reckless. I'm gonna do this again. I don't really want to fight this lady again. Like, she's the most annoying. Like, by far the most annoying of all the enemies. But I guess if she's the last thing kind of remaining on this floor, I'm totally okay with it. So, I can't pick up herbs? Oh, shit, drop iron arrows. That's not the way you should do that. We should still be able to pick up iron arrows. Because we have them in our inventory. Anyway, um, let's get this gold quickly. And then we'll fight her. So I do want to heal up a little bit. I didn't gain quite as much as I want as I would have liked there. Nice, yeah, you're you're a real piece of work there. I don't really want to fight her, but if I do, well, now that I have Berserker's Rage, it's a little bit more palatable, I guess. Uh, but if I do fight her, oh, dumb, I get another level, which is great. Sure, let's level. Uh, let's heal up again. A lot of potions used there. Not thrilled with my performance. Got one HP back from eating the meat. All right, we don't need more wood. Let's end, and we're definitely not going to the dungeon until we fucking have to. Okie dokie. We sell uh, seashells by the seashore, but predominantly less of that, I guess. Um, this goes here. Meat goes here. I wish you could just combine meat with a fire starter and turn all your meat into cooked meat without having to go through this little song and dance here. But we have to go through it for the inventory space if for no other reason. These are stone arrows. These are iron arrows. We got another... 40 Ironite arrows, no, sorry, 20 Ironite arrows in that last area. And we're gonna pick up another, oh, we got 67 stone arrows, pretty good. We're selling bone, that's what I forgot. Okay, so you come back here. Uh, we can't really do anything with, we can make something with Diamondite, no we can't. We can't make anything with gold either. We can make a gold tool, but we can't make gold armor. This is gonna be the lowest inventory space we've had in a while. So with Ironite, we basically just wanna come down here and then, uh, you know, split this in half and then turn it into this and... Oh, that doesn't go there. It goes here. Alright. Alright. Well, that's that. We're moving on. Yeah. Yeah, we're moving on. This is level 17 or District 17. I believe there are 20 districts in the game. Followed by the final boss. So if we just stay vigilant, there's a pretty good chance I could at least see District 20. And I think I've seen District 20 before, but... We'll see. Uh, Goldium Great Blade makes a gold axe. Bone Blade makes a bone something. Uh, and I don't really need a bone something right now, so I'm okay to move on. I really don't know what we're uh, we're hoping to get out of the caverns here. Pretty much just gonna farm uh, rocks. There's nothing else I really want, to be honest with you, that this place has in spades. I don't even know what this place has in spades. Uh, except for for bugs and brood mothers and, and bats, but... Uh, maybe chests is like the the resource of choice here. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, crack this bad boy open. What do we got here? A thunderbug and a wooden stick. Wow. Uh, well, we don't want the thunderbug. That's for sure. So basically, if an enemy's in my way, I'll kill it. Especially if it only takes one hit or a couple of arrows. Maybe we should go for like a high tier dex gear if we're going to be using ranged attacks. But I don't know. I I prefer the old uh, you know brick and mortar. Brick and mortar, uh, you know, meat and potatoes style, just attack focus builds. Maybe I should be killing everything to level up more, but I feel like, uh, you know, we're not gaining that much from from each level at this point. I didn't think you would have the sack to attack me. Plus, we're gaining a lot of levels from bosses, so I don't know if I'd call most of them bosses at this point, but I guess they are. Good jump there, by the way. Fuck that bat. This is going to be like a world record speed run for this level. It's obviously not actually going to be. I don't know if there is a, uh, a noted speed run for Magicide yet. I could see it happening because that community, like the community surrounding speed running is super dedicated. But, uh, yeah. All right. So our, uh, you know, Knights of Wine and Roses are over here. We have to go to Lava Town. We have to. There is, you know, the only other option is going to the dungeon. Dungeon is, uh, you know, bullshit central. We don't want spider webs. We don't want leather. We don't want vials of poison. We didn't pick up any meat. We didn't pick up any herbs. Iron arrows come back here. We want stone arrows. That makes enough of those. And uh, we didn't get much wood either, which is actually kind of bad. We should eat something quickly. See if we gain a little bit of HP. We didn't. 
Uh, this comes back here. You know what I'd also like to see is, like, craftable bows to, to raise your, uh, attack stat. And you could proportionally lower, like, the effects of improving arrows or something, maybe? And have bows that do more damage or up your decks or something like that. I don't know. I'm just throwing ideas out there. We need the smelter, and we're gonna smelt, uh, this... We didn't get any gold or diamond either, which is crazy, but we're gonna smelt this iron down, make more iron arrows. You know the drill by now. And... This is up to 93 of them. That's pretty good. So we got like 180-something arrows. And we're not buying any other tools. We're getting out of here. Let's do this volcano town. So this is where we died earlier. In my defense, we ended up fighting like a fuck ton of dragons, so... You know, you can probably forgive me a little bit. I don't really want luminous leather. What is luminous leather? It's got diamonds in it. I really would have preferred just the diamonds, quite frankly. Not dust and diamond. That's something completely different. Alright, so we want to... If we're going to be on a high-risk level, I want to get my money's worth here. So, let's make sure we're getting good stuff from uh, these whenever possible. I guess the luminous leather probably doesn't even sell for very much, so... Like, nothing sells for very much in this game. Ring of Nature, plus five decks. That's nice! So we can kill these uh, fake boars. Well, not really, actually. So dragon. Dragon's the worst. At least the worst thing that we've seen so far, which scares the shit out of me. Because that means there could be even worse things later. My general strategy for how to handle the dragons does not exist. Because I have never uh, encountered them up to this point. So we're just going to run away from them. And I fully expect that we will end up, you know, encountering a situation where I just have an extraordinary amount of dragons following me. And I'm probably not going to gain too much more experience on this level. But you can probably guess how much that bothers me. I can give you a hint in case you're, uh, not aware. So, plenty of gold so far. Um, Ironite Bar. Well, we can very quickly use that to make some of these. What else was down here? It's like a Zweihander? I know the Zweihander has extra attack. And we can imbue it with stuff. I'm kind of happy with my Diamondite Sword, to be honest with you. This Y Hunter is just super slow. I'm maybe I'm an idiot for throwing it away, but I'm going to throw it away. Sorry. And these things, I guess, are not aggressive until you get aggressive towards them. So we can just stay away. It's not like we're in any danger of, you know, starving to death or anything like that. And to be honest with you, the volcano's going pretty well so far. Now these dragons are gonna be problematic. I do want that chest. Don't get me wrong. Now, there is a katana in there. Um, we don't need a goldium great blade, so we can take the katana instead. And you know what, you savages? There you go. I'll equip it. And we'll see how effective this is. It attacks quickly. I'll, I'll give you that. And are we really going to kill this dragon with ironite arrows? It's going to take a lot of them, or at least a decent amount. Hey, you know, that's not so bad, all things considered. What do we got there? Is that like an axe? Is that a special kind of axe? I don't want that. That was just a freaking monster bone. What a waste. Alright, that's what we want. Uh, this and this and this and this. Alright, so when we get a chance to actually use our, uh, our sword, we will. I've mostly been taking things out from afar, though, because my, you know, skills up close are afar from good, if you know what I mean. We're gonna quickly mine this shit out and back the fuck up. Weirdly enough, I think, you know, oh, okay, I am the greatest uh, Magicite player of all time. If you want lessons, uh, you know, you, you know where to find me. There's a Goldium Bar and a Diamondite Blade, but unfortunately, I think it'll, it's risking my HP too much to actually go for it, so I'm just gonna run. Oh my god, several Diamondite Bars. Just throw something on the ground and walk back in there. Take a chance at it. Sword Hilt? What would make you think that I would want the sword hilt instead of the fucking diamondite? So I think we ended up missing out on one diamondite bar there, but we picked up the other one, which actually, you know, truth be told, feels pretty good. Oh, uh, okay, goodbye. This is when we leave. This is when we say fuck everything, and we go down to the volcano again next. This is District 20. Wait, do we fight a boss now or something? I don't know. I doubt it, but... Uh, okay, you know what? Katana, we're just gonna simplify our lives. Did I... Where did my diamond sword go? I just want to ask... Maybe I dropped it by accident? I guess I must have dropped it by accident. That's alright, because if we can't buy one, which we can't, we can craft one. So that was very dumb of me. 
and I don't make excuses for myself, but at the same time, what's done is done, and uh, that's all we can really do about that, huh? So, oh, we only have one stick. There you go, there's five more stone arrows. And we're gonna sell a refined stone, because we have enough arrows, as is. All right, so don't freak out, this is fine. It's a, it's a doable situation. <coughs> How do we do it? Well, we first come down here, and we definitely need one, two, three, one, two, three. This will give us four, two, okay. Well, we may actually only need to make one. No, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I think we can just do this, and then make a blade, and then combine that with a sword hill. We don't have any sticks, but we can do it as soon as we get to the next level. And then we want one, two, three, one, two, three, and you become a shield. So we're fully decked out in uh, gold gear. Sell this. What else can we use our gold for? Gold arrows, basically. I don't want to mess around with gold arrows, though, yet, so I'm just going to hold them. We should make some more ironite arrows, but we don't have any sticks, so... Probably shouldn't have sold that katana just yet, huh? Here we go, onto the devil's asshole. Please tell me- okay. So there's a wall of flesh type deal. This might be the final boss. I've quickly... Gotta get into a safe position and craft. I've healed. I healed. Did we just get to the end of the level, or do we actually have to kill something? I need to make a sword hilt. Where's my sticks? I need sticks! It's okay, just keep running for a second. I'm safe up here. Where's my st Oh, the sticks are up here. Oh, Jesus. Run, run, run. Uh, heal. Heal and run. That's our new strategy. Might as well heal up nearly to full. Um, all right, now we have a diamondite sword. I don't know if we should be running or if we should be fighting. Is this thing still coming for me? Uh, well, you know, there's like a lot of bullets back here. There seems to be certainly like an angry en oh, an angry enemy. Oh, we can hit it. We can hit it, all right. Let's do this shit. I'm ready for Madden, as they say, as one person ever has said. We can always get more resources on the fight if we need to. Just run ahead. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, heal up. I can afford to heal like crazy if I want to here. So I did. You know what? I'm so angry. Get out of here. This is the moment of truth. We can do this. We don't have any extra damage uh, with our Berserker's Rage because it doesn't affect bows. Should probably move a little bit here so I know that there's a safe place for me. Ah! It's okay. We're good. We're, we're sort of good. Okay, this thing needs to be destroyed, obviously. Um, you need to die. You need, you need to die or fall. Th those are your choices. Uh, you need to, you need to fall. That thing is incredible. Uh, five arrows. That means we're switching to stone. All oh, the dodges. Um, we're switching to stone arrows because I don't want to have to deal with it later. And these are going to do slightly less damage, but only three less, which doesn't make a huge difference. Are these homing now? Is that how this works? Come on. Come on. I'm ready. I don't know how much HP this thing has, but we're going to do it. We're going to try at least. Okay, there we go. Good. Get in the fuck tunnel. What could go wrong in the fuck tunnel? And I really don't want to get to the point where I have to use my melee attack to make this happen. But if we do, we do, you know? Did you see this incredible display of dodging ability? Now, do keep in mind, if I get hit, like, twice more, I just, I, I lose and die. Um, now, once more, I lose and die. But if nothing else, I'm very proud of that performance. Despite my loss, I'm very proud of that performance. We got very far. Let's collect our booty here, and we should have a lot. We don't have a lot of it. We didn't even get the Dwelf? Oh, uh, <laughs> well, as always, thanks for watching. That was some good progress.
If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button, and of course, subscribe if you're interested in seeing more Magicite in the future. It helps out a great deal, and I appreciate it. The support on the series so far has been uh, amazing, and is the reason that I just even got to the final boss. The reason I had the privilege to die against the final boss. Uh, of course, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. I look forward to seeing the feedback on how to actually beat that guy.